Do you feel pretty right now or downright ugly? You know this is a subject close to my heart, the issue of learning to love the way we look and stop being so goddamn mean to ourselves. I have gone from being unhappy to happy with the way I look, but as most of you probably have experienced yourself, it can be so hard silencing those critical voices in your head. And the odds are stacked against us because we are constantly bombarded with input telling us to stay critical. Hopefully, by identifying these reasons and talking about it more, we will have an easier time simply ignoring them. Here are five of them. Five weird reasons why we get the feeling we're not beautiful. The way your mobile camera makes you look is not the way you look in real life. To be able to fit in more into the shot, the standard phone camera is zoomed out and that zoom elongates and exaggerates shapes. So for example, on that camera, your nose will usually appear bigger or your forehead or your shin if you're angling your head down or up. Whatever is closest to the camera will become exaggerated. And this can be a good idea to keep in mind. I actually read an article where the journalist had interviewed a bunch of plastic surgeons and they said that since the selfie was invented, the type of surgeries requested have changed. For example, a lot of patients are asking for nose reductions. And even though the surgeon informs the patient that their nose is not actually big at all in real life, many want the reduction anyway because they care more about how they look in photos than in real life. I find this fascinating, how our online selves are starting to feel more real than our offline persons. Anyway, friendly reminder to all of us, the mobile camera is distorting things. Another friendly reminder, give me a thumb if you like this video lads and feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet. Depending on where we are in the menstrual cycle, we will feel differently about our looks. Not only do we bloat and add liquid and are more acne prone some part of the month, which actually changes the way we look, our mood changes so much with our hormone levels too. You guys know what I'm talking about, those days when you're totally feeling sorry for yourself and everything is upsetting and you have just grown 40% uglier overnight for no apparent reason and you hate all your clothes. Maybe a good idea to remember not to overthink our looks on those days. Even if you're not on a menstrual cycle because you don't have that biology, there are other reasons our hormones flare in different directions. Our diet, our alcohol consumption, how much we exercise, our sleep pattern, how many hugs we receive, all those things affect our mood too. And as a result, how self-criticizing we are. It's easy to think that our eyes are objective and that what we see in the mirror is some kind of irrefutable fact, but beauty is so subjective, isn't it? And how we see ourselves and how much confidence we have changes so wildly from day to day. Ah, the mirror, friend or enemy? I think it depends on your mirror behavior. I am of the strong belief that mirrors are for quick glancing, not obsessive staring. The longer we stare, the more faults we'll find. Checking our hair, the fit of our clothes, appreciating the highlights on our cheekbones, yes. Staring at cellulites, pores, wrinkles, and squeezing our flabby bits. Now, how is that going to be helpful to our confidence? I've become a person who enjoys the mirror, but in many small portions, not long, detailed, obsessive stares. A big thank you to Vivaya for sponsoring me today. You know I've been wearing Vivaya shoes for quite a while now, and my feet couldn't be happier. Vivaya's mission is to create stylish and sustainable footwear that are eco-friendly and responsible. The shoes are made of recycled plastic bottles, they have a deodorizing insole and carbon-free rubber soles. And listen to this, all the styles are either hand or machine washable, so they're super easy to take care of and the quality is great. They're also extremely comfortable and versatile because their classic timeless designs make them very easy to style with what you already have at home. They're also easy to pack and carry when traveling. I myself have a whole little collection from Vivaya by now and I use them like all the time. Now regarding size, I'm usually in between a European 38 and 39 and I go for 38 or 38 and a half in flats and I go for 39 in boots. Vivaya sent me some new pairs to show you guys. First up are the Melissa boots, both in black and in cream ivory. Before you ask, yes, the heel is really comfortable to walk on. I'm useless at walking in heels, but these I've tried walking 
15,000 steps in one day and I got zero pain. So they pass the comfort test for sure. The fabric is perforated, so depending on what color sock you wear, you can style them more subtly or more quirky fun. Myself, I'm going to be living in these from now on. And do you guys remember my brown Giselle mules? They are my favorite out of all of them. So I asked Vivaya to also send me a pair in black. These are super comfortable and I wear them all the time. And unusually for a pair of mules, my feet don't glide out of them. So you can actually walk properly in them without sliding around. The last two pairs are two black classics, the Heeled Melody and the Margot Ballerina. Both of these will seriously work with like any outfit. The Ballerina for daytime and the heels for evening stuff. These are both such wardrobe essentials, very classic, casual and chic. Which pair is your favorite? Boots, mules, heels or flats? Whichever ones you fancy, I'll leave links below to each look so you can take a look and why not invest in eco-friendly, sustainable vegan shoes this winter. Just click the link below and check out all Vivaya's gorgeous footwear. They have free worldwide shipping over $75 and right now use the code Jenny for a special discount. So go on, go take a look. Thank you so much to Vivaya and let's get back to the video. I love social media the same way I love mirrors, in many small portions. I notice that if I spend too much time on Instagram, for example, there is a curve. I start out feeling inspired and calmed by the gorgeous photos of all these talented people, but it comes to an inspiration peak, and if I stay on longer than that, I will only start to feel empty and bad and start wondering why my life isn't as good as so-and-so's and why my bum isn't as pretty as so-and-so's. I think it's about logging off well before that curve starts dipping. And on those hormone days when everything is upsetting and I'm hard on myself, I stay the hell away from socials completely especially Twitter. Ugh. The negativity on there, seriously, should come with a menstrual cycle protection lock. Speaking of inspirational socials, by the way, have you checked out mine and David's sparkling new house tour channel yet? Vacation homes, architectural gems, and luxury properties on the market right now. Go show us some love over there. Okay, on a more serious note now, I do believe that a big reason why so many people feel less than beautiful is because of the company they keep. How are we supposed to convince ourselves that we're beautiful if the people in our lives make us feel the opposite? You do deserve to only surround yourself with friends and family that boost your confidence, that make you feel gorgeous and clever and special, because it's hard enough as it is with all the negative input from all over. Unfortunately, judging from the messages you guys send me, a lot of you do have people in your surroundings that don't deserve you and who affect your self-image negatively. So, sorry if I'm getting all serious, but negative toxic relationships are just not okay. I think that the number one priority when choosing friends and partners is that they make you feel better about yourself than you would without them. But I want to hear from you guys, when do you feel at most self-critical? when scrolling your Insta feed or when you're hormonal or some other time. Either way, you guys all deserve to feel beautiful because you already are beautiful. Let's stop with the self-critique and with critiquing anyone else too, for that matter, and just enjoy the way we look instead. Do give me a thumbs up if you like this video and feel free to click subscribe if you are new to the channel. Okay, be kind to yourself and see you guys very soon. Puss puss and hey doll.